how's this? You come out of the desert and the bush in bits and pieces, and all of a sudden you're hit with a clear valley. Wine, class, and beautiful mansions like this. This beautiful mansion, built from sandstone, local sandstone I believe, uh, in a Georgian style. It was uh, started building in 1879, I think, and uh, around about uh, completed in 1880. Now it was for Edmund Bowman Jr. Uh, it's cost some 30,000 uh, pounds. It comes with uh, 32 rooms, and there's a cellar, and there's four rooms in the cellar. Apparently, we'll go and have a look in this one. Um, I think Bowman had um, 14 servants, of which he had four of them living in the in the uh the mansion and they were available 24 hours a day um he was in the mansion with the uh the surrounding land working the land there for 10 years until uh drought and debt forced him to sell it and uh, a bloke by the name of uh, william mortlock i think bought it and uh, went to his uh, son and apparently there was no heir so it was passed on to his son's uh, wife and when she passed away, it's been left to South Australia, I believe. So uh, we'll go out and enjoy this beautiful building for uh, us uh, public to come around and visit. Apparently it's quite a scene. Well, first impressions. Man, it's got to be the classiest joint I've been into. Beautiful. Even all the um, all the fittings, the furnishings, they are beautiful. You just about see your reflection in this table. So shiny. Pretty nice. Look at the size of the door frames. <laughs> Massive. And the ceilings. Look at that. Not bad, eh? Make a full of me, are you? <laughs> hey, let's check these out. What do you reckon about these? These are, I'd say, the internal callers. Ooh, she's good. So these things here are speaking tubes. This is what they first started out with, apparently. And there would be a whistle. I guess I got to work out which room the whistle came from, and it would you would get instructions from there. And then up here apparently was the earlier electronic version of it. I don't know how that one works, but this one's easier. <laughs> Next destination, the man cave. <laughs> the man cave has an absolutely huge full-size pool table in it. Snooker, billiards, I don't know what they were called back then. She's a real, real doozy, and I don't think there is another space left around here for a book. It's chockers. Oh, it's pretty nice. Billiards. Just learnt something about this pool table. Apparently it's the only one piece furniture that the Bowman's had. So it was one piece, and this, this billiards table was bought into this man cave before the north wall was constructed. So I don't think there's any getting this thing out. And apparently it weighs 1.5 ton. And it comes with a beautiful uh, scoreboard on the back here too, on the metal piece. It's a lovely piece. Oh wow. Well, I thought everything was done in the man cave. And I come next door and we've got the, the smoking room. And it is loaded with uh, Pretty amazing trinkets. Lots of smoking implements. Samurai swords, that's kind of like the, the battle wall over there. On boomerangs and spears. Um, what do you call it? The old uh, samurai. Samurai suit, suit over there. Well, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful smoking room.
That was a beautiful building. Um, Got to add too that uh, there was a um, a book that was written. It was called Picnic at Hanging, Hanging Rock. Picnic at Hanging Rock. <laughs> and uh, I think it was. Um, written in around about 1965 I think around about and they did a movie in about 1975 and they used this um, this house as the the movie prop so some of the rooms um, that were in there are from the picnic at Hanging Rock and also I think she said they did a lot of filming from the roof as well so uh, there you go makes you want to go and watch the movie now all right that was exhausting. I'm off to my next destination, wherever that might be. Drink, lunch. <laughs> Thank you for following Sweet As RV. Feel free to click that like, subscribe and share button. And uh, continue seeing our adventures. That was fun. Yeah, not bad, eh? Yeah. No, no expense spared, I'd no, say. No, um, very enjoyable. A lot of rooms to explore, though. A lot yeah. of rooms. Quite, quite luxurious. What, what was it? What did I say? There was 32 rooms, I think there was. So yeah, quite a few to explore. Um, yeah, it's about $18 to, to get in, but um, yeah, I think it's pretty much worth it, especially for some of the uh, the beautiful antiques that are in there. You could also have a wedding here. Yeah, I saw saw some of the prices there. Yep. Um, right. Well, off to our next destination, eh, huh? Yep. Sounds great. All right.